Hey everybody, Slough here with a little demonstration of a new feature included in Flow Tools 2.0, and that is the Flow Tools Plugin Views uh, feature, which I'm so excited about because it'll it'll uh, help gain access to a bunch of things in plugins that we haven't had before. Uh, so I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit. Uh, you can find some information in the README, of course, but I think that. A lot will be made clearer if I sort of demonstrate it and talk you through a few things. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. So I have a session open here, and it's the uh, it's Frank Senior's trio, and you may recall him from the Intro to Flow Tools tutorial. Frank's uh, an amazing singer and uh, always uses wonderful musicians. In this case, I have an acoustic bass a few feet away from drummer in the live room. And there is, uh, you know, a considerable amount of cymbal noise in the bass mic. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this track and I'm going to solo the bass mic. So as you can hear, you know, in the upper ranges, we have a bunch of uh, cymbals. And um, I'd like to try and sort of get rid of that a little bit with maybe a low pass filter. So uh, I'm going to see what I'm focused on here. 10, acoustic bass. All right, so I'm focused on the acoustic bass uh, track. I believe I do have the EQ. Hey, EQ37 band. Yeah, EQ37 band. Um, so I'm going to open that uh, plugin window. Default view for EQ37 band. Now you may have noticed that Flow Tools said default view for EQ37 band. This is part of the Flow Tools plugin views feature. It informed me that a plugin view was loaded. Now, I have not interacted in any way. I haven't navigated within this plugin window yet. But what I'm going to do is simply press Control Right Arrow. Input level 0.0 dB. Okay, I'm going to press Control Right Arrow again. Output level 0.0 dB. Okay, I'm going to press it again. Output level 0.0 dB. Now it didn't move any further. It's still on the same control. But now I'm going to use Control Down Arrow. High pass rack 20.0 hertz. And down arrow again with Control. Low band rack 100.0 hertz. Again. Low mid band rack 200.0 hertz. So. Right now, the voiceover cursor is not being used. It's still focused uh, somewhere at the top of the plugin window. Let's see what it's focused on. Track. Text is in the voiceover cursor. Yeah, so it's just focused right now on the word track uh, within the plugin window. So without explaining too much yet, I'll, I'll get to the explanation in a little bit. But just let me show you what, what's possible here, okay? So... Um, now I'm going to navigate around a little bit more here. I'm going to go down. Mid band track, 1000.0 hertz. Again, with control down arrow. High mid band track, 2.00 kilohertz. I'm going to go down still. High band track, 6.00 kilohertz. Okay, I'm going to move to the left now to the first column. High band Q, 1.00. High band Q, 1.00. Okay, now um, I'm going to move to, let's say, the mid band. High mid band Q, 1.00. Mid band Q, 1.00. Yeah, so mid band. I'm going to go over to the frequency. So now I've been using control, left, right, up, down arrows all this time, okay? Mid band track, 1000.0 hertz. Let me move down to the low pass frequency. High band track, low pass track, 20.00 kilohertz. Okay, so now this value is set to 20 kilohertz. I'm going to perform a mouse click, okay? So using control, option, shift, space bar. And I'm going to type 10K, so 10K, and I'm hitting return. And let's read what that says now. Low, low pass rack, 10.00 kilohertz. So without having to interact as we normally do with voiceover and slowly move the <laughs> parameter, it's possible with the plugin views feature to click on a parameter, and what's happening is that Flow Tools is clicking the mouse in the edit field associated with this parameter. Okay. Now the other thing you can do here, let's let's turn on the plugin monitor for a second with option forward slash. Watching plugin EQ37 band. Okay, and I'm going to click again. Low, low pass rack 10.00 kilohertz. I'm going to click here again. 
And now I'm just going to use the up arrow. 10.11 kilohertz, low pass frac. 10.32 kilohertz, low pass frac. 10.52 kilohertz, low pass frac. 10.74 kilohertz, low pass frac. So each time I'm I'm pressing, it's speaking. So if I I type, I mean, if I press the up arrow several times quickly. 10, 11, 12, 13.12 kilohertz, low pass frac. So you see, plugin monitor is showing us that that when you press the up or down arrow, when an edit field is selected, you can change the values. Now, normally, of course, you know, the down arrow, the up arrow would be changing the in and out points within the session, within the edit window. But when the plugin window is foremost and an edit field is selected, the arrow keys increment and decrement values. If I press return, um, that will enter that value and the edit field sort of goes away. Now, let me show you something else, which is really exciting. Low, low pass rack, 13.12 kilohertz. Let me set this value back to 20 kilohertz. 20K. 20.00 kilohertz, low pass rack. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the plugin monitor for a moment. Deactivate plugin monitor. And I'm going to use the band pass feature of the EQ3 7 band uh, plugin. And in this mode, if you hold down control and option, this has nothing to do with flow tools per se. This is just a feature of the plugin itself. If you hold down control and option and click on a parameter, it will enable the bandpass mode. So if you lower the value or, well, most people would just click with a mouse on this uh, knob or in the edit field and they would drag up and down and this feature was um, available on control surfaces but for somebody uh, without a control surface it wasn't very easy for a blind user to do this but I'm just going to show you how it's very easy to do this I'm going to engage the transport okay and we're soloed I'm going to click in here okay and now I'm using control option and I'm going to start pressing the down arrow. Now, here's the low pass filter. And right now it's set very high. It was at 20 kilohertz. But as I decrease it, listen what happens. Okay, so we're centered on the frequency right now. I don't know what the value is right now. I don't care. I'm just listening. And what I want to do is I want to set this frequency just above the bass. Now I can hear the bass right now. So I'm going to increase this value. So I'm holding down control option this whole time. And I'm going to press up arrow till I don't really hear the bass anymore. Somewhere around there, I'd guess give or take. So now I'm going to let go of those keys. Okay. So now the low pass filter is set. Uh, well, let me turn on the plug-in monitor again. Actually, let's take a look with voiceover. So voiceover is still is still focused over here. Track text is in the voiceover cursor. On the tracks area. So I'm going to get to the effects uh, area. FXTD MNV plugin. Interact with that. Interact with FXTD MNV plugin. I'm moving across. 1.8 kilohertz is where we're at. Okay, so now, as you noticed, um, when when I had to navigate with voiceover, uh, I mean, it was just, you know, it takes such a long time in some cases when you have uh, a plugin that has a lot of parameters. Whereas with Flow Tools in the plugin view feature with control left, right, uh, having things organized into columns where let's say I'm going to move low pass Q 1.00, you know, to I'm here at low pass Q. I'm just going to move up 
High band Q, 1.00. High mid band Q, 1.0. Mid band Q, 1.0. Low mid band Q, 1.0. It's now organized in such a way that you can get to the frequency row that you want, or the, the band row that you want, and then move across Low mid band track, 200.0 hertz. to the frequency column, and then move across Low mid band gain, 0 .0 dB. to the gain field that you want. Um, so it, it's it's... I'm, I'm just so very excited about this feature because it gives you an alternate means of viewing the plugin. Now, plugin views also allow you to um, have an alternate view for, let's say, a plugin that has multiple tabs. All right, it, the EQ37 band uh, EQ happens to have right now two different views. And the second view is just largely for informational purposes and just for demonstration. Um, but I'm going to press Command-1 right now. View 1 view for EQ37 band. Now it said View 1 for EQ37 band. So I'm going to press Control right arrow. Input double, 0, 0 dB. Okay, remember that was that first parameter we saw. I'm pressing that again, Control right arrow. Output double, 0, 0 dB. But remember here, I that was the only two things in the row. So I, I pressed Control down arrow before. If I do that right now, output level, 0, 0 dB. Output level, 0, 0 dB. it doesn't go anywhere. It stays on this output level. So this time I'm going to do control right arrow. Phase invert off. Okay. High pass type, high pass. High pass enable out. So you see, in this view, all of the parameters are in one continuous row. If I keep doing control right arrow, high pass Q, 1.00. High pass slope, 60 dB. High pass rack, 20.0 hertz. So in this case, the parameters are laid out exactly the way the the um, plugin parameters are organized, uh, the way VoiceOver sees them within that effects view. Now, the difference here is that when you navigate with VoiceOver within those in the effects view. You can't simply click on that parameter and type a value in. With plugin views in Flow Tools, you can navigate to these parameters. Low band type shelf. Low band enable in. Low band gain 0, 0.0 dB. Let's say, and then perform a Control Option Shift click. And what what's happening under the hood really is that the mouse pointer is clicking within the edit field right at the coordinates where this parameter is located. Now, I guess now is a good time to show you uh, where these plugin views are and what they look like. So let's go to the user library. Finder, desktop. I'm going to the menu bar, Apple. Go menu. Go, go menu. Hitting computer, command, shift C. Down to the computer and then just uh, there's a couple of ways you could do this. If you just use voiceover up arrow. Library. That gets you to the library. Press spacebar. Library. Library. Window. Browser. One item selected. Library. Dimmed. And that was control option spacebar. I'm hitting right arrow now. Account. List one item selected. Accounts. Folder. We want to go to the application support folder. I'm hitting type. I'm typing AP. Application scripts. Folder. And it's right below that. Application support. Folder. Moving to the right. Address book. Folder. And now we're looking for the Flow Tools folder. Flow Tools folder. Which was put here as part of the installation process. I'm going to right arrow into there. Plug action views folder. Here's a folder called plugin views. And if I look inside there. Din3 compressor limiter.txt text. All right. So we see that there's a view here for the dynamic three compressor. I'm just arrowing down here. EQ31-band.txt text. Is EQ31 band. EQ37 band dash 1.txt text. Here's 7 band dash 1. EQ37 dash band .txt text. And here's EQ37 band dot txt. So there's a, a regular dot txt and then there's a dash 1. Now the default template is the one that says EQ37 band. And that's the default view. If you press Command One, like I just did in the plugin, that loads this this uh, view right here with the EQ37 band dash one dot txt text dash one. So if I open this text document, open 
Text edit. EQ three seven dash band dash one dot txt window edit text insertion at beginning of text left brace quote view quote colon quote view one quote quote click quote colon left bracket dash one dash one right bracket quote parameters quote colon left bracket left bracket left bracket quote input level quote zero zero right bracket left bracket quote output level quote zero zero right bracket left bracket quote phase invert quote zero zero right bracket left bracket quote high dash pass type quote zero zero right bracket left bracket quote high dash pass enable quote zero zero right bracket left bracket quote high dash pass q quote zero zero right bracket left bracket quote high dash pass. I'm just going to interrupt that. So as you can see in this text document, there's a lot of uh, sort of what what most people would just consider gobbledygook. Um, but there is definitely a logic. This this follows the uh, JSON standard. That's J S O N, um, and it's essentially a way of formatting information uh, for the script to access. And there's a you know certainly a bunch of uh, there's a couple of braces, some brackets, some quotes, some commas, some numbers. You'll notice that in this table right here, we have. Uh, names of parameters followed by zero, com uh, zero comma zero. Left bracket. For example. Left bracket. Quote input level quote zero zero right bracket. So input level zero comma zero. Now those zeros right now represent coordinates that essentially have not been filled in in any way. But let's let's open the other text document, the default view instead. That's the one that we used when we first opened up the plugin. Finder. Plug dash view. EQ three seven dash band txt text. Let's open this one. Open. Text edit. EQ three seven dash. Okay, so I'm going to uh, arrow down here. New line. Left bracket. Left bracket. Quote input level quote five zero one five six right bracket. All right, so you s notice that th here are there aren't zeros. It said five left zero. Bracket, level quote five zero one five six right bracket one five six. Let's go down to the next parameter. Left bracket. Quote output level quote one eight three one five six right bracket. All right, one eight three one five six. So now the first value that you hear is the value to the right. And the second value is the value down. And these are in point values. So both of these happen to have a, a down value of 156. So it seems that horizontally, they're on the same level, 156 points down from the top left of the screen. The first numbers were different. The first one was 50 across. The next one was 180 something. I can't remember. Um, so it seems that the second item is to the right because it's that many more points to the right. If I go down further, right bracket, new line, left bracket, left bracket, quote, high dash, pass you, quote, five zero two two six right bracket. Now, five zero two two six, left bracket, quote, high dash, pass rec, quote, eight eight two six seven right bracket, right bracket, new line, left bracket, left bracket, quote, low band, Q, quote, five zero three three five right bracket, left bracket, quote, low band, rec, quote, nine zero three seven eight right bracket, left bracket, quote, low band, gain, quote, five zero four three three right bracket. So you could start to see that some of these numbers, like for example, five zero, that, that means that these controls that are 50 points to the right, they appear to be in the same column in terms of uh, up and down. So you, you start to understand, if you look at these documents, how certain things are laid out. And here's the secret behind how all of this works. What a user would do is with Sighted Assistance, let's say you would open up a new plugin that you haven't used before and you wanted to map out these coordinates, okay? With Sighted Assistance, you would position the mouse pointer over, let's say, an edit field, and then you would grab the coordinates with a keystroke, okay? Let me go back into the session and demonstrate this. Pro Tool, default view, 42, 3, 7, band. Now, I'm going to load a plugin for which there is no plugin view file. Okay, so let's um acoustic EQ three seven dash band plug dash menu DSP plug dash in sub menu DSP plug dash in sub menu EQ three one dash band left parent mono right parent press EQ dash two left parent mono EQ dash one eight left parent mono right parent no the EQP one A all right pulse EQP dash one eight plug dash in selector package colon AAX DSP pop up button. Okay. So you might have noticed that Flow Tools this time did not say uh, default view for Pultec EQP 1A. Um, I mean, it didn't say default anything and it didn't mention the name of the plugin because there is no template loaded right now. It's just like sort of if you wanted to interact with the FXD, the view. parameters. Interact with 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, high at 10, 6, 0 hertz, low frac, parameter. You know, just be like normal, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a template file. And to start me off, Flow Tools 
has a macro called display plugin view template and you'll find that in the keyboard maestro engine menu extra so i'm tapping vo m twice menu extras at home hardware browser. menu dropbox one ccc use keyboard maestro engine menu extra here we go keyboard maestro engine menu flow tools dimmed 2.0 display plug action view template there we go i'm going to hit return Pro to application, keyboard maestro dash JavaScript for automation results, window, text, pulse key dash one a left brace, quote view, quote colon, quote default, quote, quote click, quote colon, left bracket, dash one, dash one right bracket, quote parameters, quote colon, left bracket. I'm going to interrupt it. So Flow Tools displays a dialog with a text area, which contains the name of the plugin along with a bunch of uh, parameter names and values. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this and copy it to the clipboard. Pulse key dash one a left bracket, copy. And okay, default button. Pro tools. Close this window. I'm going to go to text finder. Edit. Text edit. Text and edit. I'm going to create a new new untitled document. I'm going to paste right brace this in here. So I'm going to go to the top. Pulse tech. Now this line right here, I'm going to One move to the end of it. Hey, hey. Make sure I'm at the end of that line. I'm going to select to the front uh, of to the top of that line with command left arrow. Pulse command key, shift left arrow. Selected. I'm going to cut that. Selection deleted. Okay. And I'm going to save this document. Save ellipsis. Interact with dialogue. And in the name field, I'm just going to paste what I just cut. Paste. Okay. So. Pulse key, key, one, eight, RTF. All right. Let me just go to the end. Make sure RTF. that there's no. S T R. Period. Hey. Here. Okay. So I'm saving this uh, into. Uh, I actually I created an alias to the plugin view folder. Task colon. Plug action templates. Pop up button. Uh, Menu check mark. Plug action templates. Plug action templates. Pop up button. Array documents. Pop up button. Right. Browser. Rich text. Oh. Browser. Interact with browser. Blue cat audio charts folder. Plug action views alias. All right. So I'm going to save this in here. Edit text insertion at beginning of text. Left brace. Okay. And actually, I'm going to convert this to plain text with command shift T. Make plain text. Interact with dialog. And convert this document to plain text. Say okay. Okay. Default button. Edit text insertion at beginning of text. Left okay. Brace. So now we have this document saved. Let's go back to Pro Tools. Pro Tools. Pro default view for Pulse QP18. So now you see it loaded the default view for Pultec EQP 1A. All right. So now, uh, of course, you know, whereas before we were navigating with voiceover, now I'm just going to press control left arrow. Low boost 0, 0.0. Low at 10 0, 0.0. High boost 0, 0.0. High at 10 0, 0.0. So all of those parameters that were in the plugin are now in the template. Okay. So here's how this would work if you wanted to create a custom template that would move the mouse pointer to the proper coordinates in the plugin window. So let's pretend I'm sitting here with sighted assistance and I want to grab the coordinates for the low boost. Uh, edit field, for example, uh, I'm going to just move the mouse pointer to a right, right, random location. Down, down. Okay, so the let's say the mouse pointer is now positioned uh, over the edit field for the low boost parameter. So my sighted help has positioned that mouse, and now I want to grab the coordinates of the mouse from the top left corner of the plugin window. I'm going to press command option shift C. 46, 219. So 46 across and 219 down. Now Flow Tools spoke those coordinates and what it did is it also copied those coordinates to the clipboard. So now I'm going to go over to the text document. Text edit. Text edit. I'm going to read down left brace, quote, left bracket. Left bracket, quote, low boost, quote, zero, zero, right bracket. So the low boost parameter is right there. I'm going to read across this line. Left bracket. Quote. L O W space B O O S T. Quote. All right. Comma. Now, right after this comma, after the quote, we have two zeros. We have zero. Zero. Comma. Zero. Zero, comma, zero. So I'm going to now delete zero. Comma. Zero. And I'm going to paste. Paste. Two one nine. So four six. Four six comma two one nine. I've pasted those coordinates in there. I'm going to save the document. Save. 
And now I'm going to Pro Tools. go back to the Pro Tools. Now I'm going to move the mouse again and uh, let, let's see where the mouse is right now. 26, 199. Yeah, so it's like totally not where that parameter was, where we mapped it. I moved the mouse or, you know, whatever. It got moved somehow. So now I'm going to use control, right arrow, left arrow, you know, just to get to that low boost parameter. Low at 10, low boost, 0, 0.0. Okay, and now I'm going to press command option shift C again to see where the mouse pointer is. 46, 219. So you see, Flow Tools moved the mouse to the coordinates that are defined by the low boost. Let's let's do that for the next parameter, just like D down, right, 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 down. So I'm just going to a random location. I'm just copying these coordinates. 126, 269. There we go. And let's do that for low, low, at 10, 0 .0. low attenuation. So let's go back to text the edit. text, text document. Edit. Let's go down to bracket, quote, low, at 10, quote, zero, zero, right, low attenuation. Right, bracket, low at 10, quote, comma, zero, comma, zero, zero, comma, zero. I'm going to paste those numbers in here. 269. I'm going to save this. Save. And what were those numbers? 126, at 10, quote, at 10, quote, comma, one, two. Six. 126. Comma. Two. Six. Nine. 269. So. Pro Tools. Default view for Paul TQP. Okay, so I'm going to. Low boost. 0. 0. Go to low boost. I'm going to check those coordinates. Command Option Shift C. 46. 219. There we go. Now I'm going to move to the next parameter, the low attenuation with control, right arrow. Low at 10. 0. 0. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same command. 126, 269. There you go. So now the mouse pointer is moving according to the script. So as you can see, this is a very powerful feature. And this comes in especially handy for plugins whose parameters are not exposed to voiceover. We all know that what we see in plugin windows are automatable parameters, and voiceover sees those. And that's great. But sometimes you encounter a plugin that just has no visible elements. I'll show you a good example of that and how Flow Tools plugin views can really help. So I've just opened up a session uh, which has just one track with Superior Drummer instantiated on it. And this uh, this plugin is a is a good example of how Plugin views can really help. Uh, let's open up the plugin itself. Tracks. Track list pop-out. Ins one dash instrument track. All right. Hey, superior drummer multi out. Pl construct have you for Okay, so let's take a look at the effects view. FXD the MA view plugin. And interact with FXD interact. plugin. Bypass. Master bypass parameter. Alright, so we have the master bypass. Bypass. Master bypass parameter. And that's it. VoiceOver sees no other parameters. There are no automatable parameters in the Superior Drummer plugin. So, what's one to do? Well, this is where Plugin Views comes in super handy. Okay, so now I'm going to use Control Right Arrow to navigate the Plugin View. Construct Tab, Command Plus One. All right. Mixer Tab, Command Plus Two. So this plugin has a number of tabs I'm moving across Groove tab command plus three now the fact that it's saying construct tab mixer tab is purely thanks to the fact that I sat down with sighted assistance got the coordinates for these tabs and created a plugin view uh, document and added the coordinates and the messages that are saying command one, command two. I'm going to move across again. Mapping tab, command plus four. Bounce tab, command plus five. So here I can, let's say I navigate uh, over, let me go back to the beginning. Construct tab, command plus one. And go down. Library menu. All right, now this says library menu. I mean, again, that's just my wording uh, for it and because that's what is under the mouse right now. And if I perform a mouse click, menu, it brings up that menu. Music City USA SEX, NY-LR, NY-Hit Factory. And now I'm just using 
the arrow key, the down arrow, to navigate. Because this particular menu, while well, the menus in Superior Drummer and the edit fields use standard framework. So uh, I'm going to escape out of here. Bypass. I'm going to move across load save menu. Command plus eight. the load save menu. I'm going to perform a mouse click on that. Menu. Combine preset. Submenu. Save project. Load project. Load project as combined preset. Combine preset. Submenu. I'm going to move to the right just with the right arrow. Combine preset. Submenu. Default. Frederick Ford and Submenu. Dugout. Dash. Daniel Bergstrom. Tune track. Submenu. So, you know, it's really great to have this uh, access uh, to, to the plugin um, where, as you saw, voiceover had no act. I mean, it saw nothing. Bypass. Now, you recall I went across the top and had the construct tab, the mixer tab. Well, if I press command two, that'll take me to the mixer tab. Now I have not mapped out anything in that mixer tab. Okay. So the only thing, well, there is going to be something uh, that appears at the bottom of each tab, and that's the easy mixer. I haven't really organized that. This is still a work in progress, but I'm going to press command. Um, yeah, let me press command two. Mixer tab view for superior drummer multi-out. Okay, and I'm going to use control and right and down. Construct tab, command plus one. Oh, I'm going to move down, actually. Library menu. Easy mixer menu. Okay, so library menu. this library menu, load save menu, the load save. save menu, help menu, and the help menu. The, those three things appear in virtually every load tab. Save menu. Library menu. So I've put those in each tab. I'm going to move down. Easy mixer menu. So we have this easy mixer menu. Menu. All mixer sub menu. Mix left parent, east number style right parent sub delete usage sub menu. So Bypass. um these controls uh you know are included in several tabs, but this mixer I have not mapped out yet. I simply haven't had the time to do that. But let's go back to the construct tab. Okay. Construct tab view for superior drummer Now I'm going to use the control down arrow. Construct tab, command plus one. Library menu. To get past these two rows. Drum kit menu. Now we have the drum kit menu. Okay. And then below that. Instrument one pad. So we have a bunch of pads here. So we we have uh, a, a number. It's so, sort of like a drum, kind of like a drum machine type of situation pad where you have uh, a solo button, a mute button, an assignment button. I'm going to move down again. Instrument one assignment. All right. So there's the assignment for instrument one. Instrument one solo. Instrument one solo. Instrument one mute and mute. I'm going to move back up. Instrument one, instrument one, sign, instrument one pad. And now I'm going to use control right arrow. Instrument two pad. Instrument three pad. Instrument four pad. So I'm moving across the columns. Instrument five pad. All right. And if I move down, control down arrow. Instrument five assignment. Here's the assignment menu. Instrument five solo. Solo. Instrument five mute. Mute. So in other words, we have the pads in the top row here. The assignment in the row below that, solos in the row below that, and mutes in the rows below that. And if I go up to the instrument, instrument, five, instrument five pad, pad, let's go to instrument instr one, instr instrument one pad, and just perform a click. You can hear the kick drum. I'm going to move the mouse up, 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 and perform a click there. So now I'm, I'm in an area of the pad where the velocity is greater. So when I click here, <laughs> you can hear it much more clearly. If I move down, Instr instrument one pad, you know, the same amount. So command option shift down arrow twice. Down, down. It'll be a soft velocity. Well, <laughs> it's the the kick drum is almost as loud as the uh, as the mouse click, or I should say, the mouse click is almost as loud as the kick at that point. But you get the idea. Um, if I go down instrument one to the instrument assignment. Menu. Hit one. Dimmed. Preview. None. Check mark. One X two two under Thomas Hot Custom SQ two. All right. So here's a different kick drums. Two zero two four course under Thomas Hot Custom Design. One X two two under Thomas Hot Custom Designer Series two. So to gain this type of access, bypass master bypass. Uh, with such ease. I mean, once you once you set these coordinates and essentially plug them in. Uh, in this case, 
the template really doesn't, you know, the display template, uh, plug plug in view template from the Keyboard Meister engine menu uh, extra doesn't really do much except create, well, a template with the name of the plugin. And then the only, the only parameter it saw in this case was master bypass. But it's possible to just, you know, create your own names because um, voiceover doesn't see anything. So it's necessary to, uh, to create each one of those entries. So let's go over to that. Uh, Finder template, in fact. Finder. Um, Superior drummer multi out. Superior drummer multi out.txt text. All right, so I'm going to open this. Open text edit. Superior drummer multi out.txt. So I'm going to read down this list. Left bracket. Left bracket. Quote construct tab. Command plus one quote. Five zero one one eight right bracket. That's the construct tab. Command one. That's, you know, I just typed that in according to the JSON format. Left bracket. Quote mixer tab. Command plus two quote. One zero zero one one eight right bracket. Let me move down a lot. Uh, a lot further left, here. Left, 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 right, left, left, left bracket quote help menu quote right new, left, 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 left bracket quote dash drum menu quote eight seven six left bracket quote standard use electric quote left right bracket new line left bracket left bracket quote instrument one pad quote six zero two zero zero right bracket. You see, here's that instrument one pad where I was clicking, okay, to to make that kick drum sound. Left bracket quote I and F T R U N E N T space one space P A D quote. We have the quote comma six zero comma. 60 across two zero zero 200 down right bracket comma all right that's that first line left bracket quote instrument two pad quote one five one two zero zero instrument right bracket. two pad left bracket quote instrument three pad quote two four two two zero zero right bracket instrument three pad so you know it is um it isn't for the faint of heart <laughs> to create such templates for uh plugins that are a little bit more complex and have a number of assignments and pads and, and all this kind of stuff. But for plugins that have maybe 10 or 12, 15 parameters, it really isn't difficult. It's very easy to create a template. Now, the formatting that is required to have the type of navigation that you see here in in uh, in this plugin. Finder, Pro Tools. Pro, construct tab view. Where I can use control right arrow, left, down. Construct tab, com mixer tab, command, load save menu, command, tool settings menu, instrument two pad. So I, I, I can move around in columns and rows. That type of formatting is a little more involved, and I will create a separate uh, audio tutorial on how to format these, uh, these plug-in view uh, documents in order to facilitate that type of navigation. Otherwise, if you just use the template that Flow Tools creates, then the navigation is simply going to be control, right arrow, left arrow, and it'll still function. It'll just be straight on one row. So that's actually not half bad. So the takeaway here is that plugin views in Flow Tools can dramatically increase the speed with which you can edit values within plugins, uh, edit the uh, plugin parameter values, and you can gain access to plugins that otherwise would be completely inaccessible. Flow Tools starts you off with a few plugin views, but the, the real strength is going to be when users generate their own templates and share them. Because if I create a template for Superior Drummer, as I'm doing now, I'll be able to share those files and anyone with Superior Drummer will be able to access it just as I can. So that's the really exciting part that we on the Flow Tools team are really looking forward to. So if you have questions, please contact us through flowtools.github.io or on the PT Access list at Google Groups. Uh, that's PT Access plus subscribe at googlegroups.com if you're not a member there. And uh, we look forward to sharing this new and exciting feature along with the other new macros included in Flow Tools 2.0. Thanks so much. <laughs>